My name is James. I'm a digital marketing manager. I was using Trello and now I use Todoist. For more reviews like this, click the link below. The problem that I solved with each of these softwares was uh, coordinating and planning all of our marketing campaigns and tasks and priorities and projects uh, for the company that I work at. So really just keeping track of tasks and projects all the way through uh, completing them. Uh, these tools are really optimized for that kind of thing. Todoist is best for like single task management or nested projects that maybe have different uh, folders or sub, sub projects inside of them. Uh, they also have a really awesome uh, natural language kind of AI that you can just type in dates and deadlines and, and things like that into your task and it automatically sets dates or reminders or priorities, things like that. So it's very, it's very easy and quick to add things to Todoist kind of on the fly and get it out of your head onto your, uh, your to-do list. Trello is best for those who need, uh, I think what's called a Kanban approach to their tasks. So you have swim lanes that you essentially drag tasks between as the project or the task advances through your workflow. So maybe it starts with like brainstorming and then moves to doing and then done or waiting for approval. Uh, so anytime you need that kind of sequenced flow of your projects, uh, Trello really shines in that way. Getting started on Todoist and Trello is very simple. You create a free account. Uh, both have paid options, but you can get started with a free account that's very easy to set up. Uh, connect it to your calendars and to your email platform so you can add tasks from your email. And the setup's quite easy. There's guides that you can watch on how to set up both platforms very quickly. My top consideration if you're looking for this type of software would be to kind of think about um, how you want to organize your tasks and projects. If you do need more of that Kanban approach to task management, then Trello might be for you. Uh, whereas if you are looking for projects, like I said, with nested folders or sub projects or sub tasks, things that you need to collaborate with other people, then, uh, then Todoist might be more what you need. So just think about what you need and, and what tool is going to offer that for you.